Okay, we're back again for another Tweak Town video. We're here with uh, Richard Brown from Veer. Hi Richard, how are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, now we've got something uh, over here that we want to show our uh, viewers. What, what are you showing us today? What we're showing today is APC. This is the world's first Android PC. And it will be available for a price of $49. And here it is here. Okay, so what we're going to do, we'll go over, this is the board. What it is, this is a Nano uh, Neo, sorry, Neo ITX uh, platform. It's a, it's designed by Via. It's um, an APC system. So this is the complete computer here um, with Android 2.3 installed on the two giga flash memory. It comes with a 800 megahertz ARM processor and 512 meg of memory. So we got to look at the um, the board here, the motherboard, which is which is the computer, this is the full computer, keep that in mind. Um, so some of the um, specific details here uh, that we can go over, there's a fan header here, this is the um, power here, 4 pin, um, so if you wanted to use active cooling you could. Um, and we'll move over to the I.O. now and show you some of these details. This is the um, AC power. This is VGA, this is HDMI, there are four USB 2 ports here, this is Gigabit Ethernet, uh, headphone and microphone audio ports here, and this is a SD, a micro SD card here, so you can, um, this is one of the storage options, you only have uh, 2 gig of memory and Android almost uses all of that, um, but here you can uh, install an SD card and load some of your apps onto, onto the system. Okay, so this is this is the system now. Uh, Richard, can you tell us? This is an amazing um, fact. What's the what's the idle and load um, power consumption for this APC uh, system? On maximum load, it's thirteen point five watts. Okay. And on idle, it's and on idle, it's four watts. Okay. Now, so this is this system. I'll come back over. This system is. Uh, half the size of a mini ITX system, and it's also roughly uh, consumes around half half the amount of power as well. Is that correct? I think a lot more than half the power. If you look mm -hmm. on a standard um, Atom or something like that on CPU plus chipset alone, it's probably around twenty five to thirty watts TDP, mm -hmm. not maximum load. Okay, okay, and this is a this is a standard mini mini ITX case here, and you can see. Um, the APC system here installed, and there's plenty of room. The IO panel here, and you've got loads of room. You could almost fit a, almost fit a 3.5 inch hard drive in here. You could easily fit a 2.5 inch hard drive in here. But the idea about this is not so much about the storage. This is a, this is a, a cloud solution. Um, Richard's told us off camera that's going to end up costing $49, which is pretty incredible for something like this. Um, now, Richard, what we wanted to do is go over to the user interface. Now, this is Android 2.3. I understand you guys have done a lot of work on um, customizing things. For one, normal Android does not have keyboard and mouse support. That is correct, yes. yes. We've added in um, uh, keyboard and mouse support. As you can see, yeah. so we're in the browser now. We just loaded up Google. Um, as you can see, it's just loading now. But it definitely works, so you can see here. There's no problem here. This is the browser. Um, then we, if we, we can go back to the home. If we click the home button there, it takes us. Well, that's the desktop. But if we click it again, it, yeah, this takes us to some of the preloaded apps. There's, only, there's a few amount on here, a uh, few amount of apps rather on here that, that come with the system. But of course, you can add uh, add your own as well. So we've got um, Angry Birds here that we can take a look at on the big screen here. It's just loading. There you go. Everyone's favorite. There we go. That's Angry Birds. So, uh, what else? We got? Yeah, File Manager. That's a good one to look at. This is yeah. This is the, this is a file ma uh, file browser, file manager interface. So we select SD card. I think we're already selected. 
um, that shows the files on the um, SD card. Then we can open, this is a local video um, file here, a trailer that we can look at. Uh, this, I believe, is running 720p. That's what the system supports. So something that small, this small, it's, it's rather impressive. So you can see that's running rather smoothly. There's no issues here with video playback. And again, this is the actual system actually running here. And then one thing Via has been known for for a long time is, is building small, low power and cool operating systems. You can see here there is no cooler on the system, so you can build a completely silent system. Uh, okay, now back to here, uh, of course, YouTube. We all know that. So we can stream. This is a, I believe, this is a modified version of YouTube by Via and APC. Um, so we can show a, a sample here, streaming video from YouTube. Now, it's not running slow, this is a slow motion effect. So very impressive. So I think that, uh, Richard, that about covers the uh, user interface. Yes. Um, so if we can, if you can just finish off by telling us um, the price, I'm not sure if I mentioned, we'll mention it again anyway, the price and where people can buy it from and when it should be available, if we can just finish with those questions. APC is priced at $49 and it will be available direct from the APC website, which will be apc.io. Okay, very good. And uh, the, when will people be able to buy it? Is it around the end of June, end of July? Around people will be able to place orders very soon. Okay, pre-orders. Yeah, we'll be able to make, place pre-orders very soon and then we, we expect to be shipping by the end of June, early July time. Frame. Okay, thank you Richard. Thank you. And uh, thank you guys for watching. This has been a look at the APC uh, Nano Neo Neo ITX. Neo ITX. <laughs> I, I'm so used to saying that. I to say it two or three times. It's Neo yeah. ITX. Neo ITX uh, APC system here. Um, I'm sure we'll probably get a, a review sampling from Via soon. And uh, stay tuned for this product. I think it should be really popular.